Hey guys, so I'm here with my boxy charm. I didn't do last month's boxy charm just because I was waiting for my glossy box and I realized that my sus subscription ended, so I did resubscribe. So I didn't do, I was saving it for the Battle of the Boxes and I never got it, so I couldn't do it. But I'll give you like a, a quick run through of last month's box and then, um, and then we'll go into this month's box because I heard that it's really awesome this month. So um, last month they have, I got from Cargo. This is the replacement one that I got. Um, last time it was um, shattered and all over the place. So, so this is the replacement. And this lid comes on and off really, really easy. Not like the last one. This one's really nice. This one goes on and off super simple. Um, next is this Kiss Proof Lip Cream. This is really, really nice. It is long wearing. And I would definitely consider getting more shades of this Bella Pierre lip cream. Then we have, um, this is Vintage by Jessica Lipskind. I guess that's how you say it. It's a highlighter. Um, it's a nice little white package and it has a huge mirror on the inside and it's just a really pretty champagne-like highlighter. And I know the highlighter is a little bit difficult to see on my pale skin. However, it is very pretty. And this palette is, it's really, really pretty. It's got really nice shades in there. And um, the only thing is that this, that these two matte shades, the center shade and the darkest shade, it's kind of a little bit splotchy. And um, the glittery one that's right here is like very chunky, chunky glittery. And you can feel the grit in it. But everything else to me, in my opinion, is just lovely. last month's boxy charm. Let's move on to this month. All right, this month, let's see. I don't know what's in here. Okay, this month we have Brilliant Eye Brightener. Hmm. It has a sharpener on the inside of it, 25% off of Thrive. This is the card. Oh, by the way, last month's box was about $135 worth of products. This month's box supposedly is like 120 bucks in here. I don't know if I believe that this one palette that's in here is worth $50. That seems a bit, bit much, but let's see. All right, first thing in here is from Beauty For Real. This is the Lip Revival Exfoliating and Hydrating Lip Scrub. Oh, I like lip scrubs. So it just comes in this little tiny box right here. And let's see. Ew, it smells kind of florally kind of citrusy. I don't know. Nice consistency for a lip scrub. Really nice consistency. So it's just the scent just kind of throws me off. Next we have, this is where the card was. It's from Thrive Cosmetics. It's a brilliant eye brightener and it's in Stella. Oh, that is really gorgeous. Wow, that's really, really pretty. And then on the back end, the sharpener, really nice. And then we have from Ofra Cosmetics. This is a very deep purple shade, which I probably will not be wearing. Um, it's called Napa Valley. Uh, I'm assuming it's for your lips. I would have to assume that. Um, yes, metallic liquid lipstick. So I'm just gonna swatch it. Whoa, that is some serious purple metallic color no joke and it just has like a regular little doe foot applicator on there look at that almost looks black but you can see the metallic color okay next oh i like this next is from butter london this color is called ruby murray this is a pretty shade. I would contemplate taking off my color of my nails right now and put on this one. It's very similar. It's more like um, like ruby colored. It is called ruby. <laughs> ruby colored. And uh, I think that's really pretty. So I definitely will try this out. I'm on a break from school. I can wear nail polish, so I'm gonna go and have fun. Then the last thing in here, which is from Pure Cosmetics. This is the Buff Collection, eyeshadow collection um, on the back. It shows you all the shades that it has here. 
So it reminds me of uh, just being in this type of a tin it reminds me of the Urban Decay. Um, what is it? Naked 2 palette, I believe it is. I'm trying to open it. Okay. It almost looks like, is the 2 the one that's the rose gold? I can't remember. I think that's what it is. Okay, so it has a very large mirror on the inside, which it's got like a little coating on it, so I'm not gonna take that off right now. But these shades are very, like um, the, the matte shades, they're not very good. Um, they're a little bit difficult to get some pigment out of it, um, but you can build it up. So that is nice that you can build it up. We have quartz, which is the first matte. There's three mattes. Um, it's very light. Um, this is just not a shade that I actually um, go to. Then we have the next one here, which is called Sahara. Um, these um, shimmery shades are very, very, very pigmented, and um, I like the way that they come off. Um, and you don't need to press very hard on the shadows for them to come off. Next is Mesa. Um, this one is just a slightly darker tone than this one. This is, you know, they're kind of both kind of peach. This one has a little bit more pinky tone to it. Then we have the next um, matte, which is Dune, and you can barely see that. The pigmentation is very, very light, but it's like a very light lavender shade. Next in here, we have Mojave, which is really pretty. This is um, in between like a coppery burgundy color. Next in here, another metallic is called Sandstone. I love this one. I love these two here. Sandstone is more like a copper penny. Um, next is the next matte shade in here, and, and this is called Clay, and it's a little bit darker than this one here. Um, it's kind of like a gray tone purple. Um, next is Canyon. I mean, it's a, it's, <laughs> it's kind of like a golden brown. Then we have Desert, which is like a chocolate colored um, brown. And then these next ones, are they're all very similar. We have Dust. Baron and Mirage. Mirage has some glitter chunks in there. And All right, so I really do like this palette. It's really nice. I'm really surprised at the pigmentation of it. It's very nice. I'm actually going to definitely try to use this tomorrow. So um, I'm excited to try this. I didn't know this might be uh, a brand that I might try some more eyeshadows from. I'm very impressed with the pigmentation, but let's see how they apply on the eyes. But overall, really nice so i think boxycharm kicked booty today this month december awesome awesome box so uh, yeah definitely i'm definitely gonna check out some more um eyeshadows from pure cosmetics i had no idea that they were like that so i'm very happy about that and uh yeah that's it so no glossy box this month well it's probably coming in but later and i decided just to do boxycharm alone so that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me run because the sun is really going down and it's, I know this editing is gonna be a pain in the booty for me. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in another video. Bye.